Here we have the aortic arch. From the aortic arch, we have three blood vessels branching. And remember that these are the ABCs. So at the aortic arch, A for arch, the first thing to branch out is B, the brachiocephalic artery. The second thing to branch out is C, the common carotid artery. And the third thing to branch out is S, the subclavian artery. Now, these two blood vessels, the second and third ones, they are close to the left side of the heart. Consequently, this is the left common carotid artery, and this is the left subclavian artery. The first branch, which is the B for brachiocephalic artery, the name tells you that it will give rise to something that will go towards your brachium, which is the subclavian artery, and something that will go towards your head, the cephalic, right? So the brachiocephalic artery gives rise to two blood vessels that are on the right side of your heart. The blood vessels are named right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. You cannot say right brachiocephalic artery because you don't have the left one. So is the brachiocephalic artery gives rise to the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. Now let's follow the left common carotid artery up. And this blood vessel is named common carotid because it will split into something that goes externally and something that goes internally. The common carotid artery is split into the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. But as you can see here, the branch we have in this model is external, is on the outside of the skull. Consequently, this that we are seeing here is the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery is not observed in this model.